Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video, and we are on our Dino A Day review series, and we are on to the Terror Bird. Yes, that is for realsies. Uh, the Terror Bird is a tame that is, I know, one of the most frustrating tames for pretty much everybody in the entire game, but we're going to go ahead and see what this thing is really capable of. Now, I will tell you the stats look a little bad, but overall... The Terror Bird's actually a pretty good tame. Now, obviously, you're not going to get health that's super high. You're not going to get some crazy tank bird of justice. That's just not how it's going to work. But there are some other really neat things that you can do with this guy. For example, its weight, pretty good. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Uh, melee goes up extraordinarily high. And then you can increase its movement speed, which doesn't seem like much. But in reality... Movement speed on these things is an absolute blessing, and I'll show you why. Now, he's actually quite fast. You can pretty much run down any survivor in the game with a Terror Bird. Now, they do a lot of base damage as well, especially because they can attack and run at the same time. So let's say, I don't know, someone's running from you. Like there's a uh, Pteranodon running right there. You can chase him and drill him. Now, the Terror Bird... On the other hand, unlike a survivor, can attack and run, and it doesn't run out of stamina very quickly, which is really useful. So if you're chasing somebody on the ground, they don't have the option to stop. They have to run, which does mean that you can chase them down. So PvP, pretty useful. Another useful thing about this guy, you can shoot off the back of it. So with a Terror Bird, you realistically speaking could go full sniper mode, you could go shotgun mode, you could do whatever you want, you could do like drive-bys, just like obliterate things as you go around, just just drilling things, because he actually keeps you pretty solid, like you can, you can hit some pretty good shots on this guy, because unlike the other tames that you can ride and pull your weapon out on, he doesn't really sway that much, he kind of allows you to sit still, and uh, that's kind of nice. So you can have your weapon out, which is pretty cool, but that's still not my favorite part about this. I'm going to show you something that's kind of... Yeah, you saw that right. How many of you knew that the Terror Bird can float its way into oblivion? And turn really well, by the way, too. Yeah, you're seeing this correct. The Terror Bird can fly. Now, not only can it fly... It can coast for a long, long, long ways. Now, when I say it can coast, I mean, I can literally fly to the other side of this canyon. No problem. Now, a lot of people didn't realize this, and I can't even imagine what it would be like if Terror Birds, like in the wild in Ark, actually determined that they suddenly had the ability to fly. That would be an absolute nightmare because, I mean, on the ground, they're already a pain in the butt because they can keep up with you and just destroy your day. But if they could fly too, no thanks. I think I'll pass on that opportunity. But let's say you're running from some raptors, some friendly raptor folk, and you're just like, peace. Yeah. And raptors are gone. But I also want to bring up the fact that they can coast but they choose where they go. So like, let's say I decide suddenly that I'm like, eh, I wanna go this way now. He doesn't like do a slow U-turn. He just shows up over there. So let's say I'm like, oh, I don't wanna land there. I wanna land over here now. He just does a beautiful little turn. And yeah, it's, it's amazing. And not only that, but he's actually really fast. Once he starts coasting, he's got some raw speed. So let's say someone's chasing you on a Giganotosaurus and they're just like, oh, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. And you're like, uh, I don't even know what movie to compare it to, but it's like, dun, 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 Yeah, I got to take a screenshot of this. Oh, man, that's so cool. So, anyways, you get the point. Uh, the Terror Bird is a great little mount in the sky. He, uh, he coasts really well. Uh, he's got some pretty good raw speed. Now, I am falling down because I let go of Spacebar. If you let go, he will pick up your new trajectory, which kind of sucks, I guess. Um, but if you kind of just, like, let him be, he'll just coast in a straight line very, very well. But remember, as soon as I let that Spacebar down, he'll start going down rapidly. Notice that. Like, he almost instantaneously starts going down. Um, but he, he keeps air pretty well, so you're, you're going to be able to cross pretty much whatever you want to. 
uh, with this guy obviously within a reason you're not going to be able to go uphill and it is a coasting device it's not something that's going to be uh bad now let's talk about his enemy the terror bird's enemy is water he is not fast in the water but as soon as he leaves the water he's a very nice tame to have because let's say again you're being chased by a spino i'm like see ya and you're gone now negatives he does take fall damage pretty hefty fall damage actually and as soon as you get into that water you're in big trouble so like i might be coasting there but i get some raw speed slow down if i'm in that water but other than that terror bird's a heck of a lot of fun does a ton of base damage has some pretty good stats and can be used for really trolling the crap out of people I mean, you're seeing me jump across the water and stuff like that. If someone's chasing you, they can't jump that far in coast. I mean, if they're on a bird, obviously, but like I can traverse the entire section of this map that requires me to touch water. So, Terror Bird, pretty cool little tame, hidden flying ability a lot of people don't know about and just fun to use. Anyways, not the greatest, but still fun. All right, hope this video helps you out and teach.